They, the band don't know love and happiness. I mean, y'all know it? Y'all sing it. All right, never mind. All right, thank you very much. Let's give Joe Madison a big expression of love. You can do better than that. Make it better. Let Joe hear it. Let's hear it for the Honorable Al Sharpton. And let's hear it for Martin King III. Friends, I have a message for you. I promise I will be pithy and concise, terse and laconic. Here is my message. We cannot, as Democrats, control the House, the Senate, and the presidency and not deliver on the things that the people who sent us there to do. Amen. When you control the House and the presidency, or the Senate and the presidency, there's an expectation. But when you control the House, the Senate, and the presidency, there's an obligation. We have an obligation to pass the George R. Floyd Justice and Policing Act. We have an obligation to do it because there should be no knock laws. They should be eliminated, no no knock laws. Breonna Taylor would still be with us. We have an obligation. We have an obligation to pass legislation that will give the District of Columbia statehood. Here, here's some facts that you need to know. There's some inconvenient truths that we have to deal with. Here's one. D.C. has a higher per capita tax rate than most states in the country. D.C. has been trying and has been denied statehood for centuries. Friends, it is about more than taxation without representation. It's about overtaxation because of underrepresentation in the Senate of the United States of America. That's what it's about. And we have got to pass it. We have an obligation. We have an obligation to pass the John Lewis Voting Rights Advancement Act. And here's why. We have a right and an obligation to do it because Dr. King marched so that we might have these voting rights. Shrunner Goodman and Cheney gave their lives so that we could have these voting rights. Medgar Evers was murdered on his front porch so that we could have these voting rights. We have a duty to those who have shed blood on the Edmund Pettus Bridge. The truth of the matter is this. The Voting Rights Act of 1965 may have been signed in ink by President Johnson, but it was written in the blood of those on the Edmund Pettus Bridge, on the blood of John Lewis, on the blood of Everett Merger Evers, on the blood of Shrunner Goodman and Cheney, we must pass it, and you have to help us get it done. If you're gonna help us pass it and you know it, stand up and show it. Let's stand up and give the Voting Rights Act the motion, the energy it deserves. If you, are you with me? Are we gonna move? Can we do it? Let's do it together. Remember, I'm Al Green. I love you. Let's have some love and happiness for the good times. Let's stay together.